Zillion claimed that he had been in a wheelchair since 2011 after being involved in quite a serious car accident. In mid-2012, around a year after the incident, he'd go on to create a Twitch account before gaining a reputation for his personality, gaming skills, and finally, his physical disability as a wheelchair streamer. Within months, Zillion OP had become a Twitch partner and was streaming to an audience of between 200 and 400 viewers per stream, leading to subscriptions and donations, fueled in part by Zillion's unfavorable physical circumstances. As a whole, in the beginning, there was absolutely no reason as to why the audience might assume that, for some reason, Zillion wasn't actually disabled. That would be until January 2013, approximately six months after beginning his streaming journey, when Zillion OP's promotional Facebook page would be hacked, creating initial suspicions that his apparent disability was nothing more than one giant hoax. The hacker, who seemed to have known Zillion personally, began publicly posting to the Facebook page in posts that confidently suggested Zillion was able to walk and was therefore a fraudster, swindling sympathy money from his audience. Don't get angry, Zillion, just walk away from the computer for a minute. I just met you and this is crazy, but here's a chip in button for a charity. Let me steal your money, maybe. We're not like you, sir. We wouldn't mess with your PayPal. Unlike you, we're above stealing money from those in need. Hey guys, I'm sick. Donate to me to pay my hospital bills. I'm giving away a keyboard that was given to me by another fool who doesn't care that I scam my viewers for money. Hi guys, who wants to raise money for some kids? Daddy needs a new set of legs. Did some squats tonight. My thighs are on fire. Please stop DDoSing my legs. In spite of these posts hinting that Zillion was a fraud, the hacker didn't post any actual evidence proving that this was, in fact, the case. Therefore, Zillion's Facebook audience simply assumed that the hacker was a troll who was using the opportunity to publicly mock Zillion's handicapped status. However, in light of these posts, the audience would notice that Zillion did have a history of engaging in fraudulent activity for his own personal gain. For example, on the 10th of January 2013, just 10 days before his Facebook was hacked, he'd be banned on Diablo 3 as a result of beginning his stream whilst having a botting script active. The incident would be shared to Reddit where it received over 700 upvotes, with a post also explaining that Zillion lied to his audience about the ban, stating that it was for account sharing as opposed to the reality for botting. Although the craziest comment on this entire post was without a doubt this one. It makes me question whether he is really in a wheelchair. Maybe it's all just part of the act to garner sympathy. While this comment was only speculation at the time, only four months later on the 5th of April 2013, something would happen while Zillion was streaming, proving this Reddit comment correct, whilst ending Zillion's entire career in the process. Watch, check it out. Get, get on your mount and follow me. Maybe I don't want to follow you. Mission when it's easily out geared. Our dog, our dog, oh my god, we took our dog, um, like to the fish shop today because the dog loves just like going out and meeting new people. And we constantly have to take him to like, and then I was like, oh, this is so cute. Like he's cuddling with me. If you believe that actions speak louder than words, Zillion turning his camera downwards to hide his empty wheelchair was basically the same as him saying, I've just exposed myself doing something that I definitely shouldn't have been doing. His girlfriend seemed to realize this as well. She was the one in the background of the call telling the story about their dog. The second Zillion gets up, she pauses mid-sentence, then lets out a very panicked, oh my God, oh my God, before going on to tell some very rushed, possibly improvised story about heading to the fish shop earlier that day. After Zillion's camera was turned away from his empty wheelchair, the stream would end. However, the chat would continue to discuss what they had just seen, and seemingly in a state of panic, Zillion joined the discussion by both gaslighting and lying to his audience about what had just happened. WTF, did Zill just stand lol? No, I fell. I pushed off my chair and ate it. Oh my gosh, Zill. I'm gonna say, it did look like you stood up. Is he alright? lol. He got back to the keyboard, he is okay. I'm pissed and in pain. Wait, so the stream's over? I need to fix myself. And my dog dumped water on everything. Thing. I will try and be back. It hurts to breathe. I hit my side on the corner of the desk. Poor Zill. I'm gonna die for a few. I will try to be back soon. Is he walking? Yeah, he stood up and walked, then the camera went off. The viewer known as Indie Rocker, who had written this final message, would then take to Reddit shortly thereafter, continuing the discussion around what had just happened. Indie Rocker here. Felt so gypped when I saw him stand up and walk. Called it out and all my comments were deleted straight away. Wish I hadn't donated money to this guy. Zillion deleting any comments calling him out, instantly 
basically suggested that he was guilty. His story didn't exactly add up either. If he had really fallen out of his seat, how was he able to get up and move the camera so that it was no longer facing the empty wheelchair? Additionally, after the VOD was clipped, viewers noticed that Zillian walked away without any problems, as seen in the reflection of the fish tank behind him, and in the wake of this discovery, the fraudulent moment would be shared to every corner of the internet. The person who originally hacked Zillian's Facebook page would also find the clip, prompting him to log into the page once again before making another hacked post which stated, So, what a day. I wake up to be informed of what has happened. I read all the articles, all I can say is karma. You deserve everything you have coming to you, Zillian. I do hope you put those legs to use and get a real job. You owe a lot of people money now. What I find funniest about this is your terrible cover-up of it all. The streaming business is a much better place without creeps like you in it. Oh, and by the way, this isn't James. It's Matt in brackets Hypno, you fool, with Hypno being an old friend that Zillian used to stream with from around one year prior. However, an I told you so hacked Facebook status was only the beginning of the repercussions against Zillian OP. When Twitch would learn of the fraudulent activity, his account would be banned permanently with an official statement by Twitch reading, the Twitch broadcaster Zillian OP did indeed have his channel closed and his partnership contract terminated on the basis of fraud. Moving forward, we'll be offering refunds to those who subscribe to his channel through Twitch. We have zero tolerance for this type of behavior and the character demonstrated in this situation is truly reprehensible. His actions are a huge slap in the face to Twitch community members with real disabilities such as Aeron and groups such as Able Gamers who have helped spread a message of inclusiveness and positivity to not only the Twitch community but gaming as a whole. However, this was still only the surface of what would become the Zillion OP disability rabbit hole. In July 2013, just three months after his massive expose, a user by the name of Inigo Montoya TV would upload a video titled Zillion and Panthoria Meet OMFG in which Zillion can be seen standing up straight with seemingly no need for any wheelchair assistance. There's Zillion. He has legs. <laughs> we got Zillion. Right it should be. It's live. They're going to go nuts. They're going to be like, what? Zillion? Because no one's seen you since it went. He has no beard. Look at this. No beard. Look at how much he lifts. Interestingly, Zillion had also shaved his beard, making him almost unrecognizable, which might have been a deliberate move to avoid further public humiliation. The beard would make a comeback when Zillion started streaming on Hitbox TV in 2015. However, he'd find little success given his obliterated reputation, so there was really no discussion about the streamer for seven whole years between 2013 and 2020. However, this would change once again when the internet would discover a channel that looks suspiciously familiar, going by the name of It's Bluish. The streamer running this suspicious page was clearly Zillion, and it would hilariously be the person who originally hacked his Facebook page in 2013, who would once again expose him on the live stream fail subreddit in a post reading, streamer Zillion OP banned for faking a disability has returned under a new alias and just got partnered. However, this is where the story takes a bit of an interesting turn. With Zillion having somewhat of an audience once again, he'd begin to put forward numerous pieces of evidence showing that he had actually been in a wheelchair during the early days of his streaming career. In one notable moment, he'd pull up his Facebook before showing numerous wheelchair photos whilst out in public just prior to beginning his streaming journey. My beard's much shorter there. I was in the wheelchair beforehand. Uh, me at concerts, me out traveling, me out doing everything. This was just like I was in a wheelchair. Uh, I did get better and I am obviously no longer in a wheelchair. Unless for some reason Zillion had lived a year of his life in a wheelchair for the sole purpose of looking disabled prior to beginning his streaming journey, it was basically confirmed that Zillion was most certainly disabled or at least had been temporarily. This is where Wavy Web Surf comes into the mix, who's another YouTuber here on the platform. Many of you will already know exactly who he is, but we'll still leave a link to his channel in the description below. After Wavy Web Surf would learn of Zillion's return in June 2020, in conjunction with the newly found evidence that Zillion was disabled, would at least to some degree, Wavy WebSurf would conduct an hour-long interview with Zillion to get the full story from his perspective. Throughout the interview, it feels as though Zillion is speaking in a way that's truthful. It doesn't feel like he's trying to hide anything. So under the assumption that this whole discussion wasn't yet another lie, here's what they discovered. Firstly, Zillion wasn't lying about either the car accident or needing to be in a wheelchair. I was in a wheelchair for two years. I was in a car accident, which put me in a wheelchair for more than a year prior to streaming. And therefore, the disability was never fabricated out of the blue in order to gain extra donations and you know with these these Facebook photos that just by you showing those photos that you created a fake you no know, dis disabled personality that's completely not true and 
Correct. The problem was that at some point in the journey, there was clearly a shift from not being able to walk to being able to walk. When I started streaming, I needed it like completely. Okay. It was my 100% go-to. If I needed to go to the bathroom, I was getting in, out of my bed, pushing myself in a chair and going to the bathroom. However, none of this was disclosed by Zillion at any time. Therefore, he'd conclude that his lack of explanation about where he was at in his journey was one of his biggest shortcomings. Do you feel like you, you screwed up in the sense that like, when you are integrating your disability so much in stream that it may have put off a certain image that you were wheelchair bound when you weren't. Are you willing to admit that perhaps not updating people was a, was a mistake that there? Was my big, it was my biggest mistake, not updating people. I should have been open about the recovery from day one. My wheelchair is part of my stream and it's something where people see me do wheelies and something people see me stuck in. I should 100% have been like, hey guys, today at physical therapy, I walked two steps. Yeah. That would have helped. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't an exciting day for me and I didn't say a damn thing. The way that Zillian talks about his past mistakes clearly shows that he's learned his lesson. He knows that he approached it terribly. Yet, despite his clear remorse for what you might call the mismanagement of the situation, Twitch would still remove his new It's Bluish account for ban evasion. It seems a little unfair given his clear display of remorse, as well as the fact that it happened over nine years ago now. However, it did seem like Twitch was in the process of unbanning his OG Zillian account, so perhaps he'll have another opportunity to do his stream the right way in the future.